so did you uh, go downtown to see your ex-wife? Well, I know I said I wouldn't, but yes, I did. Ooh, 20 bucks right here. <laughs> you, you bet on that? Did you sleep with her? No, I didn't sleep with her. <laughs> Give it right back. <laughs> I can't believe this. You bet that I would sleep with my ex-wife? You're a guy. The odds were with me. Hey, listen up, everybody. Let's get this straight. Yes, I went back there, but I'm glad I did. You know, I got to tell her off. You, you know how you never think about the perfect thing to say until you're in the car on the way home? Not this time. I thought of the perfect thing right there in front of her. What'd you say? I looked her right in the eye and I said, well, maybe I'm just not as good a person as you are. You monster. Did you videotape it for when pansies attack? <laughs> no, no, no. You had to be there. So when are you going back, Becker? I'm not going back. Oh, Becker, you're going back. But don't be ashamed. Everybody has someone like that. Yeah, someone who's wrong for them, but they can't resist. Tell me about it. I've been trying to scale Mount Reggie for 20 years. <laughs> for me, ah, uh, Denise. Somebody up there wasn't looking out for me when I met that woman. I mean, she never cared a damn minute about anybody but herself, but no. I couldn't resist. I just kept running right back. What happened to her? Nothing. I'm seeing her Saturday night. <laughs> What about you, Rich? Oh, please, I've never had a relationship that wasn't destructive, which is why I know you're going back. I I'm not going back. I was right, she was wrong. I won. She knows that. No way I'm doing anything to ruin that. John, it's kind of late. We're going to disturb people. That's a good point. I'll, uh, I'll come in. So, you were saying? I was saying that it's finally over, that's all. You know, <clears throat> I just want to make sure you understood that, because it's probably the last time you're ever going to see me, Sandra. I know, John, but I guess that's just the way it has to be. Can I take your coat? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not staying. That's too bad. I was just going to offer you a glass of wine. No, no wine. I'm leaving. Bottle's already open. Okay, but, you know, just because it's... just because it's open. It just hit me, John. I never really realized it until this moment. It's finally over. That's right, Sandra. It's finally over. I came here last night to say goodbye, and <clears throat> what happened doesn't change that. It's still goodbye. I know, John. I heard you say it last night, and also at 2 and 4 this morning. Right. Well, I just wanted to make sure you understood. What are you writing? I'm autographing a copy of my book. I added a little personal note. Okay. But after we try this, it's definitely over. 